I'm Kim Kirk and we're starting the second half of the 10 things I learned from the fall. If you missed any or want to catch up, you can always find them on my website or YouTube page. Let's review the first five. Questioning God's goodness leads to temptation. When we add anything to God's word, we're in trouble. Lingering is dangerous. We like to drag others into our sin. God sees our sin and seeks us out. And number six, sin brought fear into the world. It was something that I had never considered until a few years ago uh, when I had the privilege to teach a fear not class. I did a word search through the scriptures of fear, fearful, afraid, because I wanted to see where it first appeared and it's right here in the garden. After Adam and Eve sinned, and God calls out to them. We see it in Adam's response. It's found in Genesis 3, verse 10. And he said, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. Before sin, there was no reason to fear. Adam and Eve lived in a perfect world, and they had a perfect relationship with God. But as we've already seen in this series, once they took of that forbidden fruit and ate it, their eyes were open to evil. Previously, they only knew good. And with that came fear. Although sin is an issue we will always struggle with this side of eternity, fear doesn't have to be. There are a bunch of verses in the scriptures that tell us not to be afraid. Some say 365 of them. I'm just going to share one of them with you today that kind of sums things up. Psalm 27, verse 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? See, the key is we take whatever is frightening us and we compare it to God. Because when we do that, it puts everything into perspective. If we took all of the verses that tell us to not be afraid and we pulled out the major principles of them, it would all come down pretty much to this. God says, I'm here, I love you, and I've got this. We can see in the garden from the fall that it was sin that brought fear into the world. Another reason we need to be on guard against it. Be on the lookout for number seven, it's only a day away.